Hey guys, welcome back to Castaway TV. We're back in Algonquin Park, but this time we're on the northeastern side of the park. And uh, right now I'm on the trail to go check out High Falls. Uh, it's a group of waterfalls, but one of them is a natural water slide. So it uh, looks pretty sweet, but we'll have to see for ourselves. And then this afternoon, I'm planning on canoeing through the Barren Canyon um, online. The photos just look remarkable, so I'm very excited to check this out. And then we're going to end the day by climbing to the top and seeing the view for ourselves. So anyways, guys, let's head down to the falls and uh, see what's in store. All right, guys, we've made it to High Falls. Uh, I just met some guys from Scarborough here. They're super nice. They're uh, backpacking and camping out here. But um, yeah, went down the waterfall slide. <laughs> Very cool, I've never done something like that. And uh, yeah, now there's a massive set of falls here. I've seen them online. I could just see over them right now, but I don't know what it looks like, so let's go check it out. All right guys, that's High Falls for you. Um, it's one thing to see it on the internet or on video like you are now, but to actually be here in person, hear it, feel the mist. It's so beautiful and very humbling. Anyways, we got a lot of ground to cover today. Um, I'm a little bit behind. I've had a little bit too much fun documenting this, so we gotta move. All right, guys, I've made it to the Barren River. I've still got a while before I end up making it to the canyon portion, but we are en route. I've got two portages to do. I just did one into the river, so two more to go, and then we will be in the Barren Canyon, baby.
All right, we're through the portages. That last one worked me. I took a wrong friggin' turn, went down beside the river and the trail ran out. So I had to climb back up. Anyways, we're on the right path now. Well guys, I'm not sure if this camera does it justice, but this, this is quite remarkable. The uh, tallest part here is 100 meters, so 300 feet to the water. And then however deep this actually goes down, it's a, it's a pretty deep canyon. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm not in Ontario anymore, but we are. Anyways, I gotta paddle and portage my way back to the truck so we can climb to the top of that tall section and uh, really get an idea of just how high it is up there. All right, guys, it's the next morning. Yesterday was a full day. Um, I'm not sure how many kilometers I did, but I definitely think I'm pushing 30 plus. Uh, it was a big day. That burst trail was 5.6 one way, and then that doesn't include all the walking around, trying to get all the photos for the falls. And then um, the Barren Canyon Trail, it's only like a kilometer and a half, but I walked back and forth trying to get shots as well. And then we paddled through it, but there was a bunch of portages. It was a big day. <laughs> um, I was pushed for 12 hours straight. Uh, I wasn't stopping. I stopped only to eat food in between each mission. So, big day. But uh, what a beautiful place. I don't regret it at all. Um, High Falls is remarkable. There was like five different waterfalls. The biggest one was so beautiful. But then uh, the water, natural water slide one. Wow. Um, never done anything like that. That was very cool. But it's definitely a busy place. Uh, it, by the time I had left, the parking lot was full. And there were tons of people coming down the trail. So 
If you're like me and you want to avoid crowds, going early is definitely the way to go. And then again, Barren Canyon Trail, I went at the end of the day and it was empty, so. The plan worked out. It was a beautiful day. I would definitely suggest checking it out, maybe taking two days to uh, travel the whole thing if you're gonna wanna see both, but what a beautiful experience. Um, yeah, that's it for the Algonquin side of things. Um, I Maybe this year, maybe I'll end up back this fall. Who knows, it was a beautiful play. It was a beautiful trip and I fell in love with paddling, my friends. I, I liked canoeing and being on the water in the first place, but there's something about that experience that I, I don't even know if I can put into words just yet. So um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, until next time, just keep going one day at a time.